Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunsey, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard no horse sing on it. <laughs> Bob shooby doo 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 Howdy folks and welcome to Horses Sing None of It. My name is Ralph Litwin and today we have Bill Kelly and Andy Gessling with us. Now Bill has been uh, writing songs and playing with uh, Bill, he Bill Kelly in his house of cards in the tri-state area. He's a buy or die recording artist and he's had a, a song on Northern Exposure, that famous uh, TV show on one of our competitor stations and also uh, had a song in a Ken Russell film. And uh, Andy has been uh, a guest on this show a few times before and uh, is one of the members of the House of Cards, which is a, a five-piece band that these guys uh, play in all over the place. And welcome to the show. It's great to be here, right. Ralph. Nice to have you. Yeah. So uh, you want to tell us about this first tune that you're about to do? Uh, this first tune is, uh, well, gee, it's about uh, mm -hmm. a fellow who... Uh, they, they said you could throw a stone in any uh, schoolyard playground and hit one of his kids, you know. <laughs> 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 if you know what I mean. So uh, it's called, called Every Man for Himself. All right. Well, He's got mustard in his eye He's wolfing down his dinner Seconds on his mind He's got a real big appetite Won't be long before it's every man for himself He could be banned And anybody who's ever been left to fend for himself Would understand There's a pile of dirty laundry Breakfast on his mind He got a name stitched in his collar For the next one just to find Now one of the requirements Is a row of shiny teeth A smile and a fine little saying There's nothing he's been He takes his happiness to go Won't be long before it's every man for himself He could be the band But understand Intentions. You know he hates to make them cry But then the ants in his pants beats his conscience up And wrestles down the fly Well it's a waste to be too remorseful And a shame to be satisfied He tells his ladies he's left plain double rent To dry each other's eyes He spends no time on goodbye and Won't be long before it's every man for himself He could be bent Who's ever been left to fend for himself would understand? All 
right. All right. Every man for himself. That's what it seems like it's headed for anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, the trio, is, is there a name for the trio? Is it Bill Kelly Trio? or is Well, it we, yeah, we've name? called it the Bill Kelly Trio. We've also called it Strum Warning. Strum Warning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Watch out! That's right. Uh, yeah, and we play around, play at uh, yeah. Rosie's. Down that's there. that's you two guys with Andy's wife Allison. Allison Boardman yeah. on the bass, and uh, Tucker's Breakfast King. For those of you watching, you may not know, is in uh, Long Valley, New Jersey. And if you get to Long Valley, you can't miss it. That's right. <laughs> Just right don't there. blank. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. uh, they have a great schedule there. And uh, one of one of the acts you can see there is uh, Bill Kelly Trio or Strum Warning. That's which, right. Whichever <laughs> way they happen to book it that particular right. night. Yeah. So? So. What geez. else is going on? Well, we're, uh, we put a record out. Uh, we have the band The House of Cards, mm -hmm. which has uh, Niles Tarrat playing guitar and Mike Esposito playing bass. We've had him as a guest. Sure. Here. Mike, Mike's a real uh, great musician in the country actually as well as the area. Um, John Havasta is playing drums. Put a record out called Luck of the Irish, mm -hmm. which I conveniently forgot. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I remembered everything else. Well, I have to go buy it to look at it. Yeah, you, you can pick it up. It's on, uh, it's in Tower. It's in the HMVs. Um, That's good. Yeah, there's a distribution thing happening with it. Uh, contains the songs that were in the uh, Ken Russell film and uh, Northern Exposure. And uh, it's on the Buyer Die label, which is based in Hackettstown. Mm -hmm. It's out of sound effects there. And just keeping, we're playing and singing and All right. getting ready to do no, a new record. And so I keep seeing the band in the parades in Mendham. That's one of our. Coming down the street on a float. That's it's it, it's rocking our regular rolling. gigs, yeah. <laughs> parade gigs. Yeah, if any, any given summer holiday, you can see us. Uh, with the generator and the, the amplifiers and just playing our rock and roll set. All right. Rocking up Main Street. We should uh, let folks know how they can get in touch with uh, Bill Kelly and Andy Gessling in case they want to get on a mailing list, find out where you're playing, or find out how they can get a copy of that uh, album from you. Oh, ah, there it is. I'm Ralph Litwin. This is Bill Kelly and Andy <laughs> Gessling. <laughs> and they even got the name under the right guy, That's so great. you don't get them great. confused. Terrific. So what's, what do you got lined up for our next number here? Oh, we have a, a brand new song. Uh, and it's, I haven't titled it yet, but we'll, but maybe by the end of it we'll have one. <laughs> okay. okay. Shall we? Yeah. All right. One, two.
I don't know where to start It is ain't no game You really broke my heart Oh yeah One more time Great song. All right. Well, we're looking for hits, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, we have uh, Bill Kelly and Andy Gessling here on Horses Sing None of It, and we're going to take a break for a public service announcement, and we'll be right back with you on Horses Sing None of It in a minute. <laughs> simple exercise can help you stay healthy, which keeps medical costs down. But you gotta do it every day, Vince. Whoa! Or you'll get out of shape fast. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. Putting out that little pendant on my hat because this next song is a brand new song and it has a lot to do with where that pendant came from, which is a dream that I had when I was a little kid, 11 or 12 years old. Well, that's not a little kid, but to me it is, I guess. I got a son that age. And uh, it's called Two Red Moons, and uh, Bill and Annie have graciously uh, agreed to back me up on the song and learned it with me here. So here we go. I hope I can remember it all right. All right. <laughs> When I was a boy, one night in my sleep, I had a dream that made a story I could keep. I still don't know its meaning or if it helps me cope, but the images in my dream sometimes can fill my life with hope. I see two red moons in a starry sky from a mountain top of love. An arbor of eight sides is hovering up above, hung with strange fruits of seasons, the beauty I can see. And a circle of monks with big bald heads communing cosmically. When the dream began, I was shipwrecked on a shore With a group of people, there was ten or more Living in the caves of the cliff that faced the sea I roamed around the island, exploring, feeling free There was a favorite hilltop where I loved to go a grassy field, one grand old tree, a place I grew to know. One day I found a pendant there, on that grassy ground. Unique design and metal was this object that I found. I knew that this object had not been there before, nor did it belong to anyone. 
one from our group on shore. After all this time here, I had now been shown a mysterious message that we were not alone. Take it in secret benefactor whose pendant made the sign. Then one night it happened, as I waited patiently, the visitors glided up the hill in a circle around me. And I see two red moons in a starry sky from a mountain top of love. An arbor of eight sides is hovering up above, hung with strange fruits of seasons, the glory I can see. And a circle of monks with big bald heads, communing cosmically with me. Since I was a boy, I held this vision fast. Hoping to learn its meaning, or maybe make the feeling last. It's strange what feels important, and the way things seem. Perhaps one day I will return in life or in a dream. And see two red moons and a starry sky from a mountain top of love. An arbor of eight sides is hovering up above, hung with strange fruits and seasons. The beauty I can see And a circle of monks with big bald heads Communing cosmically with me <laughs> Thank you, boys. Beautiful, beautiful. That sounded wonderful. Oh, it's quite a dream there. <laughs> <laughs> Freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> it comes from uh, how, how many years later did that? Well, I had the dream when I was uh, 11 or 12. That puts it in 1961 or 62. And uh, then when I was in my 20s, somebody suggested I should have the piece of jewelry made. And uh, here I am, 44, giving away my age on the air. And I wrote the song like a couple of weeks ago. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as Bill said, completing the circle, then they should be by to pick me up <laughs> in another 15 years or so. <laughs> So, what else are you going to give us here, Bill? Well, I, I was going to, I've I mean, been inspired to sing this song that, f from my childhood. All right. This is a, <laughs> this is a song I... A blast from the past. Yeah. About when I was about seven or eight. And it's about sort of about growing up in uh, Mendham and a, a big family with a little car. <laughs> a, a song called No Radio. Well, it wasn't just any other day for Dad to pull in the driveway. Well, the time had come to say goodbye to that piece of junk that was about to die. Well, I was seven and anxious. My expectations were as high as the moon. The dad's new wheels would be some Detroit steel and we'd be cruising around the town looking cool. But in the blink of a blinker, reality pulled in slow. With a new light blue VW with no radio. And I said, whoa, no radio. Mom, tell Daddy's just gone too far. We said, now, Daddy, don't you see that this is so much more than a luxury? 
Yeah, well, there was, there was facial disappointment. Yeah, the kids weren't taking it very well. Yeah, but Dad didn't care about what was on the air, and we were driving around in hell, cause there was no radio. Mom, tell Daddy's just gone too far. We said, now, Daddy, don't you see that this is so much more than an accessory? You see, the, well, the neighbors all had AC, and the neighbors had power seats. And all we ever had was the neighborhood kids, and all they ever did was tease us about it. Oh man, don't make me ride with the Kellys. You know, at the time we were a family of seven, as we rolled that bug through town, with two in the front and three in the middle, two in the back and one on the way, arriving like a family of clowns, but as a memory, it's redeeming. As I reminisce with my old man about how we pinched and kicked and he'd start to click the steering wheel with his wedding band saying, whoa, no, radio, he said, I can sing just as good as those stars. And then my daddy starts to sing while he's trucking down with his family. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> No radio. All right, uh, let's show the folks one more time how they can get in touch with uh, Bill Kelly and Andy Gessling. 201-543-6657 is the number to call if you want to find out where these guys will be playing in uh, either of their configurations uh, as Bill Kelly and his house of cards with all the uh, electric accoutrements or as the Bill Kelly trio, also known as Strum Warning. <laughs> And uh, look for them in your local newspaper, too. That's right. Local music stores, local newspapers. Coming to your neighborhood soon. That's right. So but don't get paranoid about it. <laughs> <laughs> They're not looking for you, but you look for them. So uh, we have just a, a few minutes left to uh, take out on this jam session on a number of years. And, and uh, any words of introduction for this piece? Well, this is a song that I actually wrote with Niles, my, uh, the guitar player in the House of Cards. And it's it's a song about a, a wayward farm boy, and which may be very close to your own hometown, possibly the sod farms out in the Hackettstown area. A song called 20 Years in the Big City. Thanks for coming on the show, guys. Oh, you're welcome, man. Thank you. Well, Pop, I said to Ma, I think you better sit down. If I can't find you off, I think he's going downtown. Well, he was blowing down the road, dust in his broom. And all the way he's moving won't be back too soon. I think he's going down to the big city. He's going to go downtown. I think he's going to stay out all night long. Well, now his mama got nervous and she said, my son, well, if he don't get hurt, he's going to hurt someone. You know, the honky-tonk angel's got an evil charm. Well, it's been ten years since he's been off the farm. He ain't never been to no big city. He never been downtown. And Lord knows he's never all night long. Come on, there, Mr. Ralph. 
Tompkins Square In the big tent city with the greasy blonde hair They were living on honey and a poor man's tears You know the pretty young thing got the 20 on here And it's made living so rough Just to let it go Could that be so tough? Folks, did you know that there's plenty of resources on the earth and plenty of technology to give everyone a decent standard of living while we at the same time clean up all the environmental damage that we've done? But to make this dream a reality, we all have to plan for it. For more information, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Plenty For Us All, care of Ralph Litwin, 140 Morris Street, Morristown, New Jersey, 07960. Thank you. One, two, one, two. Larry, you know, this simple exercise can help you stay healthy, which keeps medical costs down. But you got to do it every day, Vince. Or you'll get out of shape fast. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. 